All right, grab him. You got him? Yeah, I got him. Uh, that's a nice one. It looks like a keeper. Don't you? Can you lift him? Yeah, he's heavy. I don't want to put a hole in him with a gaff. He yeah. won't hook that great. He's a side of mouth with that uh, circle hook. Then he so, Joyce, how are you going to fix that grouper I caught? We're going to make crab stuff grouper. That sounds good. For the recipe, you're going to need about a pound of the grouper fillets, three quarter pounds of crab meat, or a cup and a half of crab meat comes to three quarter teaspoons of Old Bay, three tablespoons of mayonnaise, one egg, one tablespoon of chopped red pepper, a quarter teaspoon of dried mustard, three tablespoons of the panko bread crumbs. Now for what we're going to do, we're going to coat the grouper with uh, two, two to three tablespoons of lemon, eighth teaspoon of salt, eighth teaspoon of pepper, and one teaspoon of garlic and one teaspoon of the Old Bay. And the parsley flakes are to sprinkle over the crab meat after you put it in the fish. Okay, I'm going to have Sam cut slits in the fillets so we the crab meat will fit in there and better. There we cut it. And down there. And then you'll have a pocket and you can kind of push it together, whatever you're going to do. We did each one. Right, and it holds the crab, it'll hold the crab meat in the fillets better. Yeah, yeah. We got two tablespoons of the lemon juice. Then you're going to take your Old Bay and your garlic powder, you're going to put that in there. And you're going to put about a quarter teaspoon of the pepper and about a quarter teaspoon of the salt. And you're just going to mix this together. You're just going to pour that in there with the grouper. And just coat the grouper with that. Take your grouper. You're going to put it on your foil lined pan and just brush it out a little bit. And you just set this aside. Next, you're going to cut up your pepper. Bowl. You're out of your um, breadcrumbs, the Old Bay, and the garlic powder. Just stick your mayonnaise in there. You just dump that in there. And just mix that up. And 
you're going to add your crab meat. Now this, you don't want to mix it with your beater. You just want to fold it in there. You want to keep it nice and lumpy like a mm -hmm. lump crab meat should be, huh? Right. And the red pepper gives it just a little bit of color. One thing I forgot to do, just slide that up there. I forgot to oil the pan, just in case they, you don't want them to stick. And just smear that around on there. Lift up your fillet. Next, you're going to get a nice amount of the crab mixture. Open up the fillets. Just put that in there. A lot of crab meat, Joyce. It's a, yeah, they're nice and thick. Yeah. But these can you can do with these because they're they're so big you could actually cut them in half and you could get four servings out of this. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Actually, we probably won't eat it all. No. That'll be lunch for a sandwich. The rest of it, right? No, it'll be supper, <laughs> supper. for the next night. That'll be lunch. <laughs> lunch. It looks pretty anyway, all yeah. that crab meat. What you do with the parsley flakes? That'll look prettier. If you're just going to sprinkle them on top. Okay, your next, you're going to put them in the oven. It's, uh, your oven's preheated up to 400. And they'll bake in there. I'm going to check them at 15 minutes, but I think they're going to go a little longer than that. But I just always like to check fish because you don't want to overcook it. Okay, time's up. We're going to check the fish. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah, mm -hmm. it always smells good in that oven. Mm -hmm. I always say the same thing. It smells so good when it does. That is done. You think so? Mm -hmm. It flaked off really nice. Oh yeah, it's, it's done. It's definitely done. You don't want any gunner than that. No, because it's still cooking, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's a big piece of grouper, Joyce, with all that crab meat in it. I think there's a third of a pound in each one. So I'm going to need one of them styrofoam to-go boxes with this meal. So what else you got in here? We have boiled red skin potatoes, fresh string beans that I just picked this morning from the garden, and the stuffed grouper. And, and don't your... forget the tartar sauce. I love your tartar sauce. Well, if you enjoy our videos, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thanks a lot for watching. We really appreciate it.